The structure we call topology is actually the structure that determines how the computers in the network are placed. This concept is generally divided into two groups. Physical topology, which determines how the network will physically look. Logical topology, which determines how data flows on the network. In addition to topology groups, there are also topology types. Among these, we will examine the four most commonly used topologies. Linear topology, bus topology. In this topology, communication takes place over a line. Devices connected to a coaxial cable communicate with each other over that cable. In this topology, communication is done sequentially, i.e. computer A cannot send data directly to computer C, it has to pass through computer B first. Take a look at the corresponding image on the screen. For example, computer A sends data to computer C. Since this data will first visit computer B on the line, computer B will look at the data first. When computer B realizes that the data does not belong to it, it drops it back on the line and the data continues its journey. The data travels on the line until it finds the computer it was sent to. So when it reaches computer C, the data has been transmitted. Imagine this structure with several computers, it's chaos. In the image on the screen, you can see how the data travels back and forth. In bus topology, transmission is two-way meaning that more than one computer can send and receive data. But if, for example, two devices using the same bus are sending data, it causes congestion and slowness. Therefore, the data transmission speed is slower than in other topologies. The segment I show with the green, long box is called trunk in the literature. The most commonly used cable types in bus topology are coaxial, fiber, and twisted pair cable, while the protocols are Ethernet and local talk protocols. Advantages Easy to install, implement, and expand. The cabling structure is secure. Cheaper than other topologies. A single cable may be sufficient. It does not need a central unit. Disadvantages Limited cable length and limited expansion, number of stations. Cable faults are difficult to detect. If there is a problem with the cable, the whole network is affected. Difficult to maintain, maintenance costs are high. The more computers added, the heavier the traffic and the lower the performance. Terminators are available, a closed path is followed. Star topology. It is the most widely used topology. In star topology, there must be a central unit for data transfer to take place. There is a switch or hub in the center. All devices in this topology are connected to this central unit. It is better than bus topology. Because in this topology, if there is a problem in one device, the entire network is not labeled. It is also a faster topology type than bus. When sending any data, the data first goes to the central unit. In this topology, the maximum distance of each station to the central unit is 100 meters. However, additional switches can be used to exceed this 100 meter rule. In star topology, you may come across an expression like ether channel. The structure we call ether channel is used for faster and redundant connections. In general terms, EtherChannel is a port aggregation technology that groups the connection structure of multiple physical Ethernet ports into a single logical connection. Here, UTP cable is used. Advantages It is easy to set up the network and add new stations. If a problem occurs in one cable or device station, the entire network is not affected. It is faster than bus topology. It is easy to detect and fix the problem. Disadvantages If the switch or hub, central unit, fails, the network collapses. Requires more cables than other topologies. More costly than bus topology. Ring topology On the screen, you can see an example. Here, UTP and STP cable is used for the connection. In this topology, the data flow is unidirectional. 
This is made possible by the MAU, Multistation Access Unit. Between the devices in this topology, as you can see on the screen, there is a connector that looks like the letter T. The name of this connector in the literature is T Connector. The right and left side of this letter T allows devices to be connected to each other. No terminator is used as in bus topology. Since it is already a ring-shaped structure, you can understand that the terminator is quite illogical. At this point, T connectors should not be confused with a terminator. Advantages No network server is required to manage the connection between computers. The network can be scaled up using token ring. It is itself a protocol. However, expanding the network has little positive impact on overall system performance. Token Ring is a local area network technology that can accommodate protocols in the data link layer of the OSI model. A special structure called a token traverses the entire ring. It has better performance than star topology under heavy network load. Disadvantages Since the data flow is unidirectional, data travels to every device. Therefore, if any of the nodes, cable, or MAU is damaged, the whole network will be affected. Moving, adding, or replacing devices can affect the network structure. The network adapter card and MAU used here are expensive. It is the most expensive topology known. 4. Mesh Topology All ends of the network are interconnected. Thanks to this feature, data that wants to pass through one point can pass through another point in case of a problem. It is mostly used in WANs. Such as power plants, nuclear power plants, it is used where uninterruption is required. Cost is never considered here because uninterruption is very important. The table on the screen shows a comparison of the topologies you have just listened to. Please study it carefully and discover the connections between them. In this video you learned what network topologies are. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, visit our website, join our Discord and Telegram channels.